Assalamu alaikum, Robert Kai here reporting for Five Pillars and I'm inside Lewisham Islamic Centre in East London for a very interesting story. This Islamic Centre has become a hotspot for conversions to Islam and the Imam here, Shaquille Beg, has become a main man when it comes to converting people in large numbers to the beautiful religion of Islam. Thousands of Shahadas under his watch and his congregation is full of a unique mix of Muslims from all different backgrounds and includes many converts in his congregation too who have benefited not just from the religion of Islam, alhamdulillah, but also from his leadership specifically. Lewisham Islamic Centre has become such a centre for mass conversions to Islam that actually the Islamophobic camp have begun to take aim at this centre because of the sheer number, the volume of converts to Islam that have occurred over the past 20 years or so. And interestingly enough, those converts have actually begun to spike recently following the horrific scenes in Gaza that we've seen since October the 7th with the Israeli regime attacks on the Palestinian people. So I'm here to interview the Imam about his Dawah activism and to ask why we're seeing such a huge number of people converting to the beautiful religion of Islam despite all of the hate and anti-Muslim propaganda that's being peddled by the mainstream media as well as the political class here in the West. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Firstly, thank you to our brother Robert Carter from Five Pillars for coming down, visiting us at Lusham Islamic Centre, giving us the opportunity to share uh, you know, some of our experiences. Uh, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, I have been here over 25 years now. And if you want me to put a number to the number of shahadas, maybe, maybe 30,000, 40,000 plus. I mean, on a weekly basis, you know, it's seven or eight people are coming on days, four or five people a day. Sometimes we had, I think the first day of Ramadan, we had about seven or eight shahadas. So, yes, you're looking into, this, you know, thousands, a large number, basically. Is leadership starts with ourselves. You, 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 you said it in the group, but so the way we hold ourselves, the way we conduct ourselves, Alhamdulillah, I've got my brother here now. He's, I've got my nephew here who's looking into taking his shahada because I believe I've conducted myself slightly different since I've become Muslim. I'm very different, just slightly. And I, Sarah, Sarah, bear witness, bear witness, and declare, and declare that I believe, that I believe in all, in all the prophets, the prophets and messengers, and messengers of Allah, of Allah, and that the last, not the last, and final, and final messenger of Allah, messenger of Allah is Muhammad. Is Muhammad. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to Allah. To say you're a Muslim. Thank Congratulations you. on your journey. Thank May Allah Almighty you. keep you steadfast, safe, and happy. Be people are actually looking for the truth. People are looking for spiritual guidance. People are not finding that in the materialistic world that we are living in. So they're looking for uh, for answers and solutions. And they're finding that those answers in Islam. Especially when Islam gives you that balance of spirituality, but also looking after your worldly side and so on. So I think that's a key thing. I think another reason is in terms of Islam being normalized with the rise of Islamophobia. But it's actually okay and cool to be a Muslim. Because you'll find footballers who are Muslims, you'll find boxers who are Muslims, you'll find who are rappers who are Muslims, you'll find celebrities who are Muslim. Where 10, let's say 10, 15 years ago, you wouldn't find that. So I think it's okay now, especially with the general public, maybe not with the media, but with the general public, it's okay to be a Muslim. Out of interest, how many would you say females have you seen convert compared to male? What's, what's the, the, the split there? Okay, very recently I would say more females, maybe 60% to 40%. Um, let's say if you're looking from, let's say, 10, 15 years ago, maybe about 70%, 80% male. Yeah, that'd probably be the ratio. Why do you think more women are embracing Islam now? Uh, again, I think, you know, it's being uh, normalized in terms of, look, anybody can be a Muslim. It's also being understood in the right way whereas before people might say look women are oppressed but there are muslim women now who are i think sister lauren booth is quite active sister um, uh, the sister that was um, uh, in afghanistan yvonne ridley you know they are seeing muslim women beavers converts confident educated not oppressed by islam and so on so they're seeing that kind of like you know that image 
of real Islam that you can be a Muslim woman and Islam is not, it's not against women, it doesn't oppress women. It gives actually respect and dignity to women and they are starting to see this. So I'm Clara, uh, I've turned 26 and I'm French. So at the time I met um, my husband, he wasn't my husband. Um, so we met at the gym together and he was my personal trainer. And uh, we trained for a month and then past that we just moved on, I just couldn't afford anymore. Um, and months passes, but I like to stop by and just say hi and we started having like chats that became much longer uh, with deep conversations, but I did not really know he was a Muslim. I just saw in his behavior, his character, he had really good character, very professional, good manners, very polite and uh, smart as well. So a couple of months later, we got to know each other even further and I actually liked him. So we had some conversation and I figured out that actually he was a Muslim because we've never really spoke about it. And because I've never had like any problems with Islam before, I just had like lots of stereotypes because I come from France. So we have lots of stereotypes about the religion. So I started asking him certain questions and I wanted to know more. And so slowly, slowly we got it to the point where um, I took an appointment with the Imam of the mosque. Um, he gave me some books. One of them was the scientific facts in the Quran. And that made me want to take my Shahada. So two days after the appointment we had together, I took my Shahada. How have you felt as a woman embracing Islam? I think, so you still have those stereotypes in your head because at the end of the day, you've been programmed to think a certain way about Islam. So. In the back of my head, I always had those thoughts until I started really studying what Islam is actually saying about women. And I understood the difference between religion and culture. And that's the huge problem that we have in the media is that they would use certain cultural things because don't get me wrong, vast certain countries would do that, even if it goes against Islam. And there are majorities of Muslims, but it's not like the major thing. And so they use those, mi those minorities and they put it in our heads. But actually, most of the time we're not oppressed at all. We're not doing anything. It's just, I live my life normally. I, c I do much more things than I used to do prior to be being a Muslim. And I'm here with a brother who converted to Islam, what was it, a couple of months ago now? Yeah, about half a year about half a year ago and already he loves Islam so much mashallah that he's actually learnt Quranic Arabic and is going to recite uh, part of the Quran for us right now this brother literally just embraced Islam this year uh, months ago so bismillah brother go ahead <laughs> القارية ما القارية وما أدراك ما القارية يوم يكون نسك الفراش المبثوث وتكون الجبال كلهن المنفوش فأما من ثكلت موازينه فهو في عشة راضية وأما من خفت موازينه وأمه هاوية وما أدراك ما هي نار هامية The oneness of God 100% is, is simple and then seeing the brotherhood as well 100% seeing the brotherhood something I don't think you can find anywhere else honestly I've played a lot of team sports in my life and comparing that to Islam is is one thing but then Islam people really just love you for the sake of Allah they love to see you do well they want the best for you with nothing in return and genuinely nothing in return so seeing that I was like okay these people have something that I've, I haven't seen other people have no one from my my upbringing has what these people have and I wanted that peace that I could see in people's eyes so yeah yeah that. firstly I would say I mean look we put up maybe 60% 50% of our shahadas uh, some people want it very public 
uh, and I would say in the last let's say year or so maybe the bulk of those who have become Muslims are actually white English yeah in, in the last year I would say about 70 people uh, you know male and female of English origin white English origin have taken a shahada and, and, and entered into Islam so that's very important to mention uh, so sometimes people see a shahada two, two three times a week look actually it's more it's probably daily that there is a shahada at the masjid of course saying that not everybody's coming from Lusham they're actually coming from surrounding areas some as far as East London Essex North London and so on but the message to the haters is understand Islam because if you understood Islam you would know the beauty of this religion this religion hasn't come to oppress anyone it's come to free people and there's a beautiful statement of Prophet Muhammad in which he said Khayrun nas nas. the best person and he's telling the Muslims is the best person is the one who's the most beneficial to people it benefits Muslims it benefits non-Muslims the discussion I had with the brother Dan that you've interviewed and his passion in terms of look he wants to change society for the betterment and become somebody who's learned and maybe even become an Imam at Lushim Islam. And I said, look, yes, I would encourage you to do this because it changes society for, for, for betterment. Now, for those Islamophobes, I think, look, one, get that knowledge. But there might be some who actually know, but actually fear that injustice. And I'll give you an example why I say this. Malcolm X, rahimahullah. Malcolm X was teaching before he became a Muslim. He was with a fringe movement called the Nation of Islam. Nothing to do with Islam, but they had the name. Why people are devils and they can't be, what do you call it? We can't interlive or intermix. Within a year of becoming a Muslim, the NYPD, the FBI, the Nation of Islam assassinated Malcolm X. Because you know what he said? America needs to understand Islam. He outreached to white people. He wanted everybody to mix. So there are those who actually are haters and know Islam will actually bring people together. And they fear this. Yeah, and those are the real Islamophobes. But the masses, I do feel, the masses of you know, British individuals from the English community, the white community and others, they're good, decent people. They just need to know the truth and hear the truth. And inshallah, God willing, they will also become Muslims. Thank you. How are you, Tony? I'm alright. Salaamu Alaikum. Salaamu We've learned Salaamu Alaikum already. Oh, yeah. oh, peace be with you. So Tony, inshallah, will take a shahada here. And inshallah, you brothers here are going to be a witness to it, inshallah, and sisters upstairs. So, Tony, this is going to be your community and your family now. Are you going to look after Tony? Yeah, everybody's saying inshallah, yeah? Okay. Who's actually going to look after Tony? Yeah, everyone inshallah, yeah? Okay, so we're going to do the shahada, Tony. Prophet death. What's your age, by the way, Tony? 80. You're a young man, you're a young man. I'm yeah. Ash Hadu Ash Hadu An An La La Ilaha Ilaha I I Tony I Tony Bear witness Bear witness and declare Bear witness and declare that Allah that Allah is the one true God that Allah is the one true God and I and I and I Tony Tony bear witness bear witness that Muhammad that Muhammad is is the last the last and final and final messenger of Allah messenger of Allah takbir Allah. Takbir. Allah. Takbir. Allah. takbir takbir